The city and nonprofits are still working to find a long-term solution to residents forced from the Yale Park apartments. Officials called it a safety and humanitarian move, but now some are out of their homes and they say it's not what they wanted. 3 News Now reporter Alexa Ray joins us with more. Alexa? That's right, Megan. Some helping those families clear out their apartments say there's more to the story. They say many are very worried. This is their community and this is all they know, so don't don't take that away from them. Saranda Poole and Raven Fulkerson say they have been at the apartments since the evacuation, talking to the families who were forced out. They call it an ambush and say the city did not tell the whole story. These apartments, they're not that bad. There's probably three units that are terrible. Mayor Jean Stothert said the city did not give advance notice about the inspection because it did not want the tenants or landlord to leave. Still, Poole says some of these families feel like refugees again. They come here to escape whatever they're going through and we're traumatizing them even more. Landlord Kay Anderson says the city didn't follow protocol. Instead of going to the landlord, which would be the reasonable approach and saying here's a list of things that need to be fixed. Uh, a statute gives you 14 days to fix it. Well, uh, what are you going to do about it? And had they done that, I'd have, I'd have said we'll prioritize them, we'll go through. Them. Anderson is expected to see the complaints and violations early next week. He said he's worried about those now forced to live in shelters. So many of them just come up in tears and hug me and shake my hand and say they're sorry. Um, they, they never intended it to go this way. Some just want their neighbors back. At the end of the day, they're in our community. And we're all a community and we're all a family. We want to collect paint. We want to collect um, stuff like that so we can start fixing up these homes to put them back in. Now, city officials say they plan to have more permanent housing for these families by the end of the workday Tuesday. In studio, Alexa Ray, 3 News Now.